Hi, so I had a telegram webinar a few days ago where I was talking to a lot of people about affiliate marketing and introduced them to the truths, the scams and what they have not been told about affiliate marketing. So basically I'm doing a YouTube recap of what we spoke about in the class and basically this is just to teach people and to tell people who don't know so much about affiliate marketing what they need to be doing to learn more about affiliate marketing so basically let's just quickly recap what affiliate marketing is in nigeria and how can it be of help to you now basically what is affiliate marketing affiliate marketing is a combination of two words the word affiliates and the word marketing there are two different words affiliates and marketing now majority of people feel or think of the word together but the thing is if you don't know marketing you can't do affiliate marketing which is why majority of courses that you'll be seeing out there on affiliate marketing is actually going to be teaching you basic marketing now let me explain what is the meaning of affiliate marketing affiliate marketing is a fancy term is a big boy term or let's you can just call it a big boy i think it's just a fancy term for something that everybody already does even the layman already does it basically you sell something for somebody a vendor or a product creator or a manufacturer and automatically that person pays you a commission every time you make a sale for that person so that is basically affiliate marketing everything they are saying affiliate marketing affiliate marketing the big word affiliate marketing simply means i sell for vendor here i sell for manufacturer of cowboy i sell for the vendor of conga and automatically i get a commission anytime i make a sale for that person which is something you will see that everybody already does so basically let's say for example i am a bag freak i'm somebody who is very interested in bags which means i do bag or sorry i buy a lot of bags it means there is a very big likelihood that i have access to a lot of vendors that are into bags now let's say one of my friends comes to me and says hey Hi, I would like to buy one of the bags or I saw one bag that you're using I would like to know who sold it to you and I have to buy from that person automatically I can easily say okay this is the vendor here this is the phone number or whatsapp number for that vendor and you can easily buy from that person so basically I won't get paid in that regards which means majority of us are doing affiliate marketing without knowing it we don't get paid for it there are people that are actually smart enough to actually get paid for referring this product to people let's say for example I spoke with my vendor and I told my vendor hey anytime I refer somebody to you I am going to get 10% or 5% per sale anytime I refer somebody to you. So basically, the vendor says, okay, no problem. So anytime the vendor sells a product of 100,000 naira, I get my 5,000 naira or I get my 10,000 naira and so forth. That is the rudiments of affiliate marketing. There's nothing special about it. That is the simple definition of affiliate marketing. Now, the next step we should actually go into is what are the types of affiliate marketing? Sorry, I'm operating the slide on my laptop while I'm speaking. So what are the types of affiliate marketing that are out there? Majority of people do know that there are different types of affiliate marketing. This one I just mentioned is the most popular one, which means most of us don't even know that there are other types of affiliate marketing. So there are three different models to affiliate marketing. We have number one, we have the cost per lead model. Number two, we have the cost per sale model. And in number three, we have the revenue share model. So we have three, we have cost per sale, cost per lead and the revenue share model. So let's first start with the cost per lead model, which is, and the reason why it is not very common. Now the cost per lead model is simple. Let's say for example, my friend that I just used an example in the past came to me, Kemi, let's just give the friend Kemi, or we can give, give you any, any name, you can give the friend your friend's name. So basically Kemi comes to me and says, okay, I would like to buy a bag from you. Now, when Kemi goes to my vendor, I give the phone number of Kemi to my vendor. Kemi is somebody who is interested in buying a bag because Kemi saw me also using a bag. Now, basically, once Kemi goes to my vendor, Kemi can ask my vendor, hey, uh, how do you sell this bag and so on and so forth. Kemi is interested in that bag. Somebody who is interested in a particular product is called a lead. So basically, Kemi might not buy the product, but the vendor still pays me nonetheless. That's cost per lead model. You might be looking at that. That is a very interesting uh, method of actually making money because... You don't need that person to buy, you just need the person to be interested in the product and you refer that person to the to the vendor. But the problem with that uh, model is that they pay very little because the vendor is not making any money from the Kemi asking. The vendor just said that, okay, you brought me a lead. The vendor, the lead buying from the vendor can be next 10 years, can be next 5 years, can be next 1 year, can be next 3 months. So the vendor knows that the lead might not buy right now. So the vendor pays you very little amount. They can pay you as much as one cobo or one era per lead that you bring can pay you only 30 cobo per lead can pay you 50 cobo per lead which means for you to make 1000 naira, you need to bring maybe 2000 people you need to get 2000 people that are interested which means the money is too low for you if you are somebody who is trying to make 500,000 naira or 700,000 naira want uh, 600,000 naira per month you cannot be selling something that will be giving you 30 cobo per lead 5 cobo per lead so by the time you make 1000 people bring 1000 people even if they are paying one naira per lead by the time you bring 1000 people to that vendor that means you are making just 1000 naira 
So basically that is not a model that works. Now, the second one, which is the most popular one that majority of people do is cost per sale model. Basically, they pay you a commission on every sale you bring. Now, let's give you an example. Let's use the same example of the vendor and the friend that I referred. Now, immediately my friend buys from my friend buys from my vendor automatically my friend uh, gets this bag and the vendor pays me my 10 percent my 20 percent my 30 percent now the products that most people are selling that makes them to do this is actually 20,000 30,000 products and per sale they make 15,000 they make 20,000 they make 10,000 commission 10,000 times 10 people are already making 100,000 can get 10 people in a week so basically that is why most people are doing the cost per sale model but the most uncommon one which is actually supposed to be making a lot of people big money is the revenue share model now this is a model that is actually used by banks that is used by sports betting platform that is used by vpn but banks stopped using it and banks started using the cost per lead model they started giving people 500 500 naira 1000 naira to bring people to their platform apps like cheaper cash um Wema bank app that's their last app kuda bank all give uh, commissions per referral that you bring to their platform but the revenue share model is used by um gambling platforms is used by um, um forex platforms and so on and so forth basically how does that work it's simple once i bring my friend to my vendor let's use the bag uh, scenario again once i bring my friend to my vendor automatically my vendor knows that my friend might not buy instantly but if my friend buys all what my friend buys for the next three months to the next five months to the next six months depending on how long the vendor wants to share revenue with you let's say three to six months mostly if you have three months you have four months so if the vendor is sharing me 30 percent of whatever my friend buys it means everything my friend buys within that period of time i will be getting part of the revenue which means even if my friend buys one thousand times from my vendor between now and the next three months even if my friend buys ten times each each time i will get paid every time my friend buys so this is the method that is actually used by gambling platforms like sport betting affiliates platforms this is vendor used by vpn platforms vendor used by software companies and so method used by software companies and so on and so forth so basically you need to learn how to actually do that if you are looking for a link to do that i, have, I will drop the webinar link in the comment section below or in the group in the video description below so you can easily click on it so I will also drop the link for the cost per sale webinar which i hold every week i will drop it below i will drop for the cost per lead model although i don't do that i will drop a link for you to go and actually learn that on your own then the revenue share model as well i will drop that so only cost per sale and the revenue share model. now let's now ask us uh, let's ask ourselves a question what type of products can you sell as an affiliate from everything i have been saying what type of product you think you can sell as an affiliate now we have two types of product we have physical product and we have digital product but from from what i have explained earlier you can see that you can sell any type of product as an affiliate because i was using the bag example a bag is a physical product now uh, what are digital product and a digital product you can sell as an affiliate basically digital product are products like musics they're like software they're like videos and so on and so forth so basically you can also sell that as an affiliate now Majority of people that are slamming the term affiliate markets on their affiliate marketers on their head are actually selling courses mostly. Now, the main misconception around these people is that most people think that as an affiliate marketer, you need to sell a course that also teaches affiliate marketing to the next person who also sells a course that also teaches affiliate marketing to the next person. So, which basically makes a lot of people to think that affiliate marketing is a scam. But the thing is, there are people who are actually affiliate marketers who are referring products based on health that are health products there are people that are referring based on the same money making products that are like amazon um kindle direct publishing courses that teaches you how to do amazon kindle direct publishing now once you buy a course let's say you are interested in just making money you don't have a skill they are freelancing courses too and let's just say you just you don't have money you don't have a skill and you just want to make money straight you just want to start making money fast you can buy into an amazon kindle direct publishing platform course teaches you how to do um publishing on amazon kindle platform and automatically the amazon the affiliate marketer makes money from referring you to that platform and you are not learning affiliate marketing all you are doing is publishing books on platforms that you can start making money from i will do a short video on how to do that as well but not in this video this video is basically introducing affiliate marketing to majority of us now let's just say you were able to get 10 people 20 people to buy a course on Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing that is priced at 20,000 naira. If you're an affiliate marketer and you're making 50% commission on that particular course, you make 10,000 10, naira per person. 10 people in a week is 100,000 naira. In a month, you are making 400,000 naira if you can be consistent. So basically, affiliate marketing, cost per sale model, um, revenue share model is what you want to be vying for if you are um, trying to make money online. So I have mentioned the products. 
Now, how to know? How do you know if affiliate marketing is for you? I think majority of people do not know that affiliate marketing might not be for you personally. Now, for example, let's say you are somebody who enjoy or you like making money online. Then affiliate marketing is for you. I believe if you are, if you have or you like making money online. Then number two, if you like marketing and you like selling to somebody, you like getting customers, you like assisting people to find the product they are interested in. Then affiliate marketing is for you. But if you don't. Then, then you should you should you don't have any any business with affiliate marketing i don't know why people force themselves to do a business or product that they are trying to buy that they can't do you're not somebody who enjoys selling you're not somebody who enjoys helping people or talking to people or uh, talking to customers then basically you can't do affiliate marketing because number one part of affiliate marketing is actually marketing now number three if you have any a passion for anything that can make you money and basically Affiliate marketing is just the most important, is the most common one. There are other methods that you can use to make money on affiliate marketing. There is freelancing. Freelancing is basically you offering your skills to foreign clients to make money online. And there are affiliate marketers who actually help you with courses on freelancing. They will provide you a course that you can use to learn freelancing and begin selling your skill to foreign clients. Basically, you get a job from somebody, you do the job, you get paid your $600, $1,000, and you move on. You don't need to talk to that client again. You don't need to work with that client again if you don't want to. It's as simple as that. Then number four, the number four reason why you might be most, the most suitable person for affiliate marketing is you are not comfortable with your current financial condition. So basically, if all those four conditions are met, basically, you can be an affiliate marketer. So... The truth, nobody will tell you about affiliate marketing courses, which is what most people don't know. Affiliate marketing courses are not teaching you affiliate marketing. They are teaching you marketing online or what we call digital marketing. And basically, what is concerned, contained in most affiliate marketing courses, and it is exactly what you want to make sure that you are looking out for in any courses that are teaching you affiliate marketing, is number one, lead generation, how to find people who are interested in the product. Graphic design, it teaches you most affiliate marketing courses will teach you how to do basic graphic design. You have negotiation skills. You will learn how to, you will read books on negotiation skills and personal improvement and so on and so forth. Then, sorry, I'm a little bit sweaty. Then you have WhatsApp marketing and advertising um, sections inside the same course. You have Facebook advertising sections. You have copywriting, Twitter marketing, and social media marketing, brand position, sales skills, and so on and so forth. Those are the skills that they will teach you. They will basically empower you to sell online. So if you are thinking that an affiliate marketing course actually just teaches you how to make money online, bang. No, you are wrong. It teaches you or empowers you or skills you up to become somebody who can sell online. So basically, you can buy a course on affiliate marketing and decide not to be selling affiliate marketing products. Are you getting me? You can decide not to be selling courses. You can decide to just use your skills that you learned in affiliate marketing to work for a company that is actually doing digital marketing or that needs a digital marketer. So basically, you are skilling yourself up. You are not actually learning affiliate marketing and affiliate marketing courses because you yourself will be the one to decide if you want to be an affiliate it's as simple as that